Welcome everyone to an excellent Battlemania match between Praetor as the Lizardmen against Steel Bonnet as the Beastmen. This battle took place on Troll Country and is the perfect example why you should never give up. So for the front line of the Beastmen, we are going to have three units of the Ungor Spear Herds with shields, as well as two units of Ungor Herds. In the back here for the cavalry, we'll have four units of the Centigore AP throwing axes with that very nice 95 speed. For the backline elite infantry, we'll have four units of the Bestigore Herds with that massive 95 armor and the really good armor piercing weapon strength. We'll also be having Catherick One Eye here on top of his chariot. He will be having Scourge as well as Apocalyptic Vision and Deadly Onslaught. We'll also be having here the Bray Shaman of Beasts on top of his chariot, and he will be coming with the transformation of Gadon and also coming in with Wild Form for that increased armor and base weapon damage. For the Lizardmen today, we will be having the Skin Cohort Javelins in the front, three units of the Soros Warriors with shields, and two units of the Soros Spears with shields. We'll also be having the Hero today, which is the Soros Scar Veteran, that comes in here with that nice Encourage, as well as Cold Blooded to really help with that leadership. We'll also be having three units of the Chameleon Skinks here in the back for the very nice Stalk, Fire whilst Moving, and also Poison. And for the main centerpiece today, we will be having the Shredder of Lustria. This thing is absolutely fantastic with its terror and also dreaded aversion. It'll also be having a massive 750 armor piercing weapon strength, so anything it does hit is going to really, really hurt. Here in the back for the Lord Choice today, we will be having the Slant Mage Priest of Life and this bad boy on top of his chair. He will be coming with Banishment, Shield of the Old Ones, Regrowth, Flesh to Stone, Cold Blooded, and Greater Arcane Conduit. So a couple of rotations coming early, looks like we are going to be having the center cores coming over to this right hand side But on the left hand side we are going to have the chameleon skinks here poking up against the very lightly armored Ungor spear herds They do have that bronze shield for the 35% negation, but they must be facing in the correct direction So looks like here we do have the downhill charge and the Saurus warriors and they will comfortably be Ungors in battle But they will lose to the elite bestigords Looks like we do have the Catherine One coming through, as well as the Shredder of Lustria. The Shredder of Lustria is going to really help in this engagement here, especially with its negative to leadership, also its fear and terror. Really good charge animations as well, allowing it to really push through these forces and have some massive disruption. Catherine's going to be popping through in this gap as well. Maybe you can whip around into the back and shut down some Chameleon Skinks, but the same can be said here for the Shredder of Lustria. It's going to be popping in the back here on top of the Bray Shame of the Beast, and he's now in some serious, serious trouble. Taking big hits coming through, already breaking here, terrifying the Ungor Spearheads. There's really not much here that can help protect him. But it looks like here we are going to have that transportation of Gadon coming in for the Feral Manticore Summon, as it has terrified here the Bray Shaman. So very lucky here from Steel Bonnet to able to get off that Feral Manticore. Now the Feral Manticore has a few options. It could come in the back here for the Slab, but it looks like it's been protected by some Sword Spears. Or it could here, yeah, so it looks like it is going to distract the Shred of Lustria and try and get as much value as it possibly can. It's only a summon, but try and get that value where you can. And also because it has Terror, it can't get Terror outed here by the Shred of Lustria. In the front we will be having the Sword Scar Veteran helping up against some Ungor Spear Herds with the Skinker Horse with Javelins. And looks like we have some Bestigors fighting up against some Swords Warriors. And in this pocket here we are going to be having the Shredder fighting up against Catherick One-Eye and the Feral Manticore. Looks like here in the back the uh, Bestigors have been terrified. Even though we do have Wildform going down, Scourge, as well as Deadly Onslaught here coming from Catherick One-Eye. Really trying to put the punishment here on the Shredder. Shield the old one's going down, Regrowth as well to get that health back. And the AP throwing Centigors are coming in to assist as well. Looks like the other two units are going to be shooting here into the Skinko Ports as well as the Source Scar Veteran, but those two could really do with going over here and assisting on the Shredder. This is the main piece of the Lizardman army. If you got all four here and really destroyed it, that could be a very close victory early on. So the Ungor Herds are going to be coming through for the assistance as well. The Source Spear is a nice place here, pushing through to try and block so the uh, Shredder of Lustry here can get away. Looks like in the back here we are going to have the Bexcore Herds fighting up against the Soros Spears as they're desperately trying to protect their Slan. And it looks like they have been terrified already by the Shredder. There's some brilliant work coming early on and you can see here going forward how the Shredder is going to be such a pain. In the back we are going to be having Kazrak trying to come up against the Shredder, trying to do as much damage as he possibly can. But he doesn't want to stay around for too long, he's going to take loads of damage value if the Shredder does hit. The Soros Scar faction is going to be a little bit still as well. Maybe you can push into the back here. Maybe try and see if you can push back the Centigors. Could also be quite helpful here to protect the Shredder. 
in the front line. That Terra is really going to be painful with that negative eight here as well for the Dreaded Diversion. Already terrifying and breaking the Best of all Herds and the Ungle Herds in the front line. Lots of AP throwing axes still coming through from the center goals, doing some really, really nice work. Flesh of Stone going down, giving a 160 armor here for the Shredder of Lustria, as well as that regrowth. Oh, a fantastic banishment here going in the back, really disrupting the forces here of the center goals, getting both of them here and doing some brilliant damage value. Look at some of the damage going down here, also on top of the best of goals, and also managed to hit the ungors as well. Some really good banishment there, destroying both of these good units for AP. One's broken as well, which means it's going to allow the Shredder here to get some healing and the opportunity to get back into the game. It looks like we're going to have the second Manticore Summon coming through here. That should be some really good work. And he could possibly push in the back here. Maybe get rid of some of the Chameleon Skinks. Or maybe even try and see if you can continue targeting on the Shredder of Lustria. Some good AP coming down. Shield of the Old Ones helping protect you in the pocket. But really close here is Kasparek One Eye. He's going to have 1.8k health left. He has been terrified. Deadly Onslaught was going down. I think perhaps the target was the Slant Mage. But it looks like here we are going to be having the Fairy Manticore coming through. Very good here with this Terra. It looks like it is going to be terrifying the Sora Spears. As we do have some AP coming into the rear side here of the Sora Spears as well. From the very nice Centaur throwing axes. Terrifying both units. Allowing the best scores to really get in the back here up against the Shredder of Lustria. As we can see from the backside, we are going to have some units of Centagores as well as Best of Gores coming into the back as we are going to be losing those Chameleon Skinks for that constant poison. And as you can see, look at the Shredder. It's going to be down to 3,400 HP. It's really starting to struggle here in this game. Balance of Power is really going into the Beastmen favor quite heavily now. As you can see, the Shredder's taking such a punishment. It's going to be down to 2.6. Throwing axes coming left, right, and center here. Really hurting this big boy. He does need to move into the trees and maybe try and see if he can rotate and have some assistance here from his forces. Cold Blooded going down for the increase of the leadership, but 2.1k health left for him as we still also have the Ferromanticore online. So the Ferromanticore has been rampaged. It looks like it is going to be coming after the Slant of Life and not going to be coming here after the Shredder. So a little bit lucky there. Looks like uh, Flesh to Stone going down for the increase by 60 armor, but he's down to 1,100 HP. And it's really getting close here. 900, 940 here. If this shredder does break and go off the battlefield, it could be game over. So it's like it's 914 HP and it has broken. And this is somewhere that we really do need to pause in the game. And the reason is, is I was in the Discord here watching this as Praetor did share his screen. And somebody said, ah, oh, that's a shame, it's already over. But what I said, and he was just about to give up. But what I said is, no, don't give up. You still have the Shredder online. You still have healing. You still have Flesh to Stone. There's always a chance. There's always a chance to win this. And this is going to be the perfect reason as to why you never give up. So it's like he does go Flesh of Stone on Cold Blooded as well, giving that increase to leadership. And Regrowth does go down. Now there is a small mistake here. Cataract One Eye is in the pocket. And we also have some extra units here, including the Bray Shaman and also some very fast tentacles. What you really need to do here if you are still one out in the Beastman is you must chase off the Shedder. You must keep on top of it. You must make sure it goes off the edge of the battlefield. It's a not too far away, but here it's so painful it comes back. Because as you can see, most of the leadership here from the Beastman is going to be either just about half or under half, which means it will be losing its immune to psychology. With the back here, it's like the Ungol Spear Herds are going to be pushing through to maybe try and assist in its removal, but it does come back, and so do certain units of the Source Warriors. Balance of Power is going to be hugely in the Beastman favor. But as we can see here, we are about to lose the Source Scar Veteran, but what comes through next is quite impressive. You've got a massive blob here of Centigors, Vestigors, and you're going to have a Shield of the Old Ones going down to protect the Slan. Also going to be having the Shredder coming up to 2.3k HP. And as you can see, he is starting to come back. A fantastic banishment here in the middle, doing some massive value here. As you can see, pushing the balance of power down to even. So that's some fantastic work there coming from that banishment. Also here, the balance of power is getting shifted for the fact that the Shredder is getting some more healing back. And it's going to be coming back into the pocket here. Look at the leadership from the Beastmen. It's really going to struggle here now up against with Flesh of Stone on as well. You're going to be having that dreaded aversion, the fear and the terror coming through. And the Beastmen, this is where they really, really start to struggle. You still have some poking here coming from the Chameleon Skinks as well, giving that negative five to leadership. And as you can see, look at this mass routing here coming from the Beastmen. They're really struggling now up against the Shredder. We do actually have a unit of the Centacore throwing axes that has got run the back as well, so it's still going to be poking here at the Shredder. Flesh of Stone is still going down, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units here have been broken in the pocket, and this is why you never give up. The Shredder still has the opportunity here with good Flesh of Stone, good healing, it can still cause that terror. 
1,100 HP left for him, as he is going to be getting chased here by the Centigors. You need something here, maybe a bit of a poke from the Chameleons to try and poison and really assist here in slowing down the Centigors, so you can allow your Shredder here to keep pushing through and keep that Terror on board. But as you can see, 4,100 HP left for the Slan. He's going to be pretty slow. Still going to be getting shot here by the Centigors. He's going to be a little bit on his own as well. But 870 HP left for the Shredder. He's still going. Still has that ammunition in the pocket as well. But we did get back another unit of Centigor throwing axes. It does have one volley left. So a good volley and a charge up against the Shredder could really finish it off. Certain units are coming back. So we have some more Centigors with throwing axes as well. As you can see here, it's going to be 600 HP, a good charge from the Centigors as well. 95 speed on top of that good charge. And the Shred is going to be down to 550 HP. Throwing Axe is coming in as well. Another charge from the other Centigors. Healing did go down, but unfortunately the Shredder did die before it was popped off. But unfortunately here for Praetor, he actually lost those wins of Magic. So a little bit of a double loss there for him. Centigors are going to be charging on top of the Slan, which is some really good work there, as he is going to be isolated only the Skinko and Hawks nice and close to help. But as we can see here, sure the old one's going down, we have shattered the best of so some good work. We have some Sora Spears, two units of the Chameleon Skinks, make that three, but one without any ammunition. And we do actually have a unit of skin cohorts. So it looks like Balance of Power is going to be in the Lizardman favor now. So it looks like it's been a real flip here on its head. But we do have two units of Centigors. One here with throwing axes as well. We still have the Brave Shaman of Beasts. And one unit of Bestigors. We did lose Kazrak. And breaking here is going to be the Uncore Spear Herds with Shields. And the big issue here is how are they going to deal with the Sora Spears? So it looks like here Wild Form is going to be going down for that increased armor and base weapon damage here for the Centigors as they are probably going to be charging here up against the Chameleon Skinks. The longer they wait, the more it favors the Lizardmen here as they are going to be poking with those nice poison darts. A charge here in the backside from the Centigors. Some really, really nice work from both of these units as well as a nice charge here from the Brave Shaman. Now you will be getting that leadership here for charging, but one mistake here made by Steel Bonnet. You should have left the healthy units in here at the best of the Centigors and the other units should have come out and continued to cycle charge the same with the brace shaman but you'll see as it goes forward both units stay in and the leadership here from the centigors at the back is really really going to start to struggle they needed to come out and cycle charge back in and get that charging bonus to leadership so they can continue to fight what happens here is one breaks and now the second unit is on its own you still have a good cycle charge here from the brace shaman still going to get some good cycle charging up against the spears but the spears here are going to be very good for the bonus for large and anti-large here up against the brace shaman the second unit of Centigors does break. Balance of Power is massively shifting. And there we go. It's army losses and a fantastic finish there to the game. Really, really good stuff here from Praetor. And a perfect example here as why you never give up in any battle. Well played to Steel Bonnet. He came through with 83 kills, 1,238 damage value for Kazrak One Eye, 71 damage value for the Brave Shaman of Beasts, 200 and 150 for the Ungol Herds, as well as 200, 170, and 680 here for the Ungol Spear Herds. Looks like we had 650, 980, 1,900, and also 910 here for the Best of Gores, with 248 kills, really showing how strong Best of Gores can be. Throwing axes here from the Centigors, getting 1,030, 1,230, 1,374, and 1,274 here from the Centigor throwing axes. Both of these here would have been firing up against the Lustria, and the other two I'm not too sure where they were targeting, but still got some really good damage value. Well played to him, a fantastic army and a really good game from him. If he just chased it off the Shredder there, I think it would have been his for the victory. But really well played to Praetor, and that's exactly why you do not give up here. But he got 175 kills, 1,956 damage value here from the Slan. Two brilliant timed banishments, getting some fantastic damage value, and actually flipping the game on its head. 73 kills for 670, and 480 here for the Sora Spears. And looks like I got 450, 920, and 440 for the Sora's Warriors. 418 for 122 kills here for the Skin Cohorts. 644, 751, as well as 388 for the Chameleon Skinks. 231 kills, 3,600 damage value from the Strider of Lustria, the absolute MVP here in this matchup, as well as the Slant of Life. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Drop a comment down below about what you thought about the battle. And if you are brand new here, maybe think about subscribing as well. It would really help me on this grow to 1,000 subscribers. If you are new here, you can check out my description and join on my Discord, where you can meet all of the awesome people here in my community and see all of the tournaments here coming forward in the future. I've been your boy Logic. I hope you've enjoyed your stay, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Take care.